Last weekend at Sentosa's Serapong course in Singapore, the LPGA Tour's first Asian swing of the season drew to a close with the HSBC Women's Champions. A world-class field was headlined by current Rolex rankings number one in B Park. In ominous signs for the LPGA Tour, NB arrived fresh from starting her season with a runners-up finish in Thailand. As she told Golfing World, it was a pleasant surprise to start 2014 so well. I thought I would be a little bit rusty and um, we probably wouldn't be playing as well for the couple, first couple of weeks. Didn't expect much for a couple couple weeks and I just thought maybe if I get the tournament feeling again, I think I'll be okay, but it, it came quite quick. A change to MB's regular off-season routine clearly did the trick. The 25-year-old had a little more time off than normal and headed to Australia for five weeks to combine preparations for 2014 with a bit of summer holiday fun. Her break was certainly well deserved after her spectacular 2013 season. She posted six tournament wins, including the first three major championships of the year. Throw in a second straight money title and Park's year was one of the greatest seen in the history of the LPGA. It was the best season I had so far and best season I probably will have. <laughs> so, yeah, I think um, it's going to be tough to beat, you know, what I did last year. So, I mean, it'll, you always want to improve yourself, but obviously something I've done last year is something that I, I need to work very hard to beat. So, yeah, but I think I'm just glad that I had, you know, that kind of season. And that just gives me a lot of confidence going into, you know, late, uh, going into my career, golfing career. Inby's outstanding play has turned her into one of the LPGA's marquee names, and she's slowly getting used to all the extracurricular activities required from being the world number one. But after claiming the first three legs of the Grand Slam, the media attention really went off the charts in the run-up to last year's Women's British Open at St Andrews. Yeah, I think that was like the start of the crazy times, and. Uh, since then, I think I've been, you know, quite busy uh, in Korea and in America. Everywhere I, I went, it was a little bit different to what I've really um, done before. And so I think that really, you know, took a lot of my energy because I didn't play as well um, in, in the last half of the season. NB was also named Rolex Player of the Year for 2013, the first woman from South Korea to win the award. Such a big thing for myself, such a big thing for my country. and. I mean, I couldn't believe there was no one because there has been, you know, too many great players, but we weren't lucky enough to, you know, become player of the year. And that tells me, you know, how hard it is to become the best player in the world. And yeah, it's, um, it's, a, it's such a great honor and um, something that I can take on for the rest of my life. Crunching through all the numbers and results, there are a multitude of statistical reasons that could be put forward to explain Imbi's dominant year. But if you ask her, it's a much more straightforward reason. She's really been working on staying as relaxed and as happy as possible. When you have the, you know, you know, happy, you know, happy thoughts, and when you have, you know, good thoughts in your mind, I think you can really think everything positive. I think I'm just trying to be normal. And I think um, because we are so stressed in the game of golf that we, that we don't really try to find something that is more important. And I think that's what I try to find. Inby is certainly pretty happy right where she is at the moment, starting the new season in fine form. In April, she'll defend her Kraft Nabisco title, the first major of the year, but the rest of the LPGA are hot on her heels. The race for that number one spot on the Rolex rankings is going to be tight. Whoever wins first gets, you know, could become number one, and you know Susan could become number one, Stacy could become. I mean, a lot of people has opportunities, and it doesn't matter what happens in the middle of the year. But I want to be, you know, back at the top by uh, by the end of the year, and I want to do good. And in British Open, uh, the major that I didn't win before, so yeah, I think that'll be my goal this year.